sorry. Streamlabs decided to explode. <laughs> um, space like use radio device to check on unscrupulous cohorts. You put the word out to your cronies for a status report. No response yet. You cl you clean up all your junk and prepare to get the show on the road. Hold up. There we go. Sorry, I was looking for more music, uh, for like music that wasn't like, uh, artists. Um, you. Oh, yeah, okay, my sh sound alerts are offline right now. Um, you slip the spade key back into the deck of cards and then pocket the war chest. Smooth as clockwork and every bit as logical. A spade slick entered the hallway near the main entrance. Funny, you didn't hear any commotion or gunplay, but it looks like there's already been some action in here. Or there will be. You can never make a tense for. You can never take tense for granted with these goons. Thirteen out of thousand clocks destroyed. Apparently, looks like Club Deuce is uh, getting back to you. Uh, he says he's got the does uh, tied up for interrogation. You ask him what else is new. Capturing that guy is like shooting a paralyzed monkey in the face. Space Slick, be hard, box cars. You are now Club Stoose. Club Stoose, rough him up. He remains tight-lipped, so you, uh, so you deal with him, deal him a senseless shin drubbing with your crook of felony. Oh, the humanity. You can barely watch. He's probably still using his special ability to slow time down for himself. He can't uh, feel a damn thing and certainly isn't saying anything apart from a very low noise, which uh, could be him saying ow very, very slowly. Clubs uh, do punch clocks in faces to estab establish chrono chronology. Why would you do that? All of these clots are lovely. You see no reason to harm them. 987 out of a thousand clocks. Unharmed. Clubs do swap hats with droves. You begin a feeble campaign of psychological warfare. Perhaps compromising his fashion motif is the only way to get him. Nope, it looks like he's still in his weird state of stasis and doesn't care. Either that or it's driving him nuts just very slowly. Club Stews, uh, dump the contents of your war chest all over him. War chest? So what are you talking about? All you got is this simple, unassuming deck of cards. Club Stews, play some solitaire. Don't be stupid. The To play solitaire, you need a deck of cards. I don't see a deck of cards. All you see is your battle drobe, robe. Clubs juice, throw the hat down and stomp it mercilessly. Oh no, it's itchy and it looks like he's all wound up. Uh, he unties Doe's and quickly swaps everyone's hats around. Doe's proceeds to make a fleet-footed getaway. The chase is on. Spade Slick, stop being heart Hearts Boxcars. Alright, you're the boss. Hearts Boxcars. You ain't. Uh, someone has replaced your plain and serviceable hat with a silly and undersized one. An outrage uh, beyond compare. You. Daisy. I love you. Come on. Lay down. I'm sorry. Daisy wants to snuggle. Lay down. Okay. Someone has replaced your plain and serviceable hat with a silly and undersized one. An outrage beyond compare. You're sure you know who the culprit was. Uh, you can still smell his overly caffeinated blood. The 986 out of 1,000 clocks shown mercy. Spade slick lift leg and hold it a little ways in the air. Oops. Four out of fifteen green torsos dead. Okay, duty, I love you. I love you, baby. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Oh my goodness.
Daisy, lay down. Oh my goodness. Sorry. I'm having difficulties. Daisy wants to give me all the love. Uh, 4 out of 15 green torsos dead. Uh, Space Lake Wear CD uh, Close Deuces hat on top of your current one. You are already wearing Deuces hat, you fool. The one on the floor is Drogue's hat. This is exactly why you always keep a backup hat on hand. The son of a bitch on the floor here has played his last game of musical hats. Soon these lugs will learn to show you some respect. You made this town uh, what it is after all. What wasn't nothing but a bunch of dust and rocks before you got here. Space Slick, wear back a pat. You deploy your chest and swap the stinky little hat for one more suited for your taste. Wait a minute, thank God your precious Scotty dogs are still here. You don't know what you do without them. You don't want to even think about it. I love you, Daisy. Daisy, do I love you. Daisy, you do. Because it's Kira, Kira. It's only substances we're in there because of Kira, Kira. I got a look at this and I'll go. This is a real body. The unreleased uh, American version of uh, the Death Note musical. Mm, Cowboy Bebop. Do 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 do. I'm sorry. I don't know the scene. Meant to be you drop some gun to the hall. But I'll never say I love you again. It's too late now. I don't know that I lies. No need to say to say no I'm sorry. Okay. Dime makes his usual sort of interest uh, the non pulsed, vaguely bewildered sort. Easy. Space Slick Beach, Diamond's Drogue. You got it. Club's juice it is. Uh, you have opened your battle drobe in search of your backup hat. You also need some more rope to retie Joe's. Uh, which, who is absolutely tearing through the mansion as we speak. If you don't hurry, he may clear the chair within the hour. Uh, but it's a big mess. You mostly just see a bunch of bombs and cards. You're not sure what's what. You can never remember which card to pick up. You can't believe how shitty your memory is. Clubs do. Grab the deuce of clubs. You pick up two licorice gummy bears. Uh, these need to be stored for safekeeping as soon as possible. Finding your backup hat has never been more urgent. Clubs uh, do. Pick up all of the cards and throw them at Doe's. You pick up a bunch of cards and fleeing them Doe's war. Uh, uh, don't, didn't accomplish a whole lot other than put some of your private reading material on embarrassing public display. 
black inches, licorice, 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 as far as the eye can see. Hold up, I'm gonna skip this real quick. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Clubs, deuce, pick a card, any card. You're a busy guy, so you just pick up any old thing and put it on your head. Since you are in a big hurry, you will assume that it is your backup hat. You stand nearby the two remaining cards on the floor, an off suit of king and jack. Clubs, deuce, uh, pick up a card depicting stately uh, blonde hair fellows. You aren't going to stand around jack a uh, king off all day long. So, you grab the Jack of Diamonds. Oh, here's your backup hat. Problem solved, you guess. Club Stews, uh, forget you are Club Stews, believe you are Hearts Boxcars. You suddenly remember you are Diamonds Droog. Uh, whoever took your hat is about to discover he's the unluckiest man on earth. You better hope you find him dead, or well, what you're going to do to him will be much less painful that way. Diamonds Droog, wear backup hat. You don't have a backup hat, all you got is this deck of cards. Oh wait, yes you do, it's stashed into away in your brazilium. Diamond Stroke Retrieve Hat from Brawlzeelium. You are the only member of this band of thugs who is civilized enough to keep more than one backup hat, as well as an extensive array of finely tailored suits. The Brawlzeelium seems like the best storage option for your exceptional wardrobe. If there's any better sort of compartment to keep your wardrobe in, you'd love to hear it. Also, there's a shitload of guns and cards in there, too. You put on a backup hat. Diamond Strogue, withdraw licorice fish from backup hat. Uh, woo, your, phew, your Swedish fish are there. This is why it's a good idea to always store your candy in your backup hat rather than your usual one. Other members of your gang have uh, learned this the hard way and they finally started to catch on. Suddenly, you are cold cocked in the face from the future. You know the necklace belonging to that sucker punch anywhere. The future, Trace, always knows where you've been. The spineless rat seems to follow your past trail around and mess with you. Trouble is, whenever he does, he lets you know exactly where he is going to be in the future. This time, you'll be ready for him. You radio juice for backup. Give him a time and place and exactly what path through the mansion to take. Diamond Strug, resume pursuit of Wounded Felt member. You don't know if the wounded guy went up the stairs or came down, or who wounded him, and then and when. Might even have been you, for all you know. Diamond Drogue, follow trail of blood up the stairs. Can't overthink this uh, time stuff. You go with your gut and head upstairs. Club Stews, follow Diamond Droog's instructions. After giving a quick 10 pour over to the radio, you take another look at your prisoner. Uh, he looked out. Looks like uh, round two of your brutal interrogation will have to wait. You couldn't find any rope, so you tied him up with a Stretch Armstrong doll, which you happen to have lying around. Uh, you don't remember how you got it. It looks sort of dumb, but it will have to do. Club Deuce just locked those in the battle drove. Battle dro uh, time to hit the road. You beat your hostage into the back of your battle drove with the bull penis cane. Wait, this is a bull penis cane? <laughs> bull penis cane. 
You flip the fuck out over the fact that this is apparently a bull penis cane. Meanwhile, running roughly parallel with present events. Itchy always cheats, but he's always cheated for but he's always cheated for the last time. You're gonna jump to a timeline where he's dead. Looks like he got what he deserved, but uh as usual you find yourself in a bit of a predicament. Space like make friends with die. You introduce your cast iron horse hitcher to your new friend. Dai scrambles for a pin he's been saving for a special occasion. How many times does he have to tell you he made this town? Hearts, bo ca uh, hearts box cars. Stop being space slick. You stop not being hearts box cars. You have made your way to the felt secret vault. It's bigger than you were expecting. You doubt you'll be able to rely on your usual self, uh, safe cracking method, which is pry it from the wall with your bare hands. You'll have to think of something else. Heart boxcars, do a silly dance. This is just absolutely the most ridiculous thing you could possibly choose to do right now. I mean, come on. Why don't you take a closer look at that safe? Seriously, stop that. Hard box cars and pry the wall from the safe. That notion is even more ridiculous than the last one. Wait, who are you kidding? No, it isn't. Looks like the combination uh, to the safe is entered via the hands of the clock. And you somehow doubt spinning the hands around manually is going to cut it. Knowing these guys, you've got to alter the flow of time itself to make it work. Which, of course, is bullshit. You think you'll just blow it up instead. Time to get deuced on the radio. Hearts boxcars, deploy punch box. You deploy the wrath tub. Hearts boxcars, retrieve uh, two of hearts from Becca Pat. You retrieve your pair of wax lips. If anyone tried to steal your wax lips, you would eat their eyeballs and deliver an angry lecture in their em into their empty sockets. Hearts boxcars, peruse Red Cheeks magazines. Just glancing at it gives you palpitations. Literature for avid cardio aficionados uh, such as yourself, those uh, budgeting red humps, the mischievous little tail, the snug welcoming cleft. The uh, saucy imagery is hard to beat, harder than what you beat inside your chest now. Your heart is what you're beating. You beat it to Red Cheeks magazine pretty regularly, you say. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a master beater joke. Something. Cl Hearts box cars, uh, club deuce on nearest card. You radio deuce on the 10 4 card. Let him know you need a powdered monkey on the double. You hear ticking and it's not coming from the big vault clock above. You hope it's not what you think it is. Oh no. Oh god. It's biscuits. His oven timer is ticking. This is no good. Ugh, there he is. This idiot thinks he's special. His special oven transports him into the future by the amount he sets in the timer. Well, he's sort of right, but in reality, all that's happening is that he's hiding in there until the timer pops and the uh, timer's up, then pops out. You guess he's relatively harmless if he's alone. You could take him. Uh, what you really have to worry about is if he teams up with, oh no, that ringing, that god awful ringing, you can hear it. Eggs. Son of a fuck. You might as well just grab one of your axes and kill yourself now.
Clubs deuce, follow a path. In the future, you've already followed the path through the mansion that Drogue uh, told you to follow. Trace followed uh, Drogue's past trail even further back, but found a much fresher trail crossing his path. Looks like this little guy's take, uh, talking on the radio says something about how he'll be right there once he gives Drogue a hand. Trace uh, decides he'll trace this guy for a while. And see what he's up to, and then mess with him, of course. In the present, you talk on the radio, say something about how you'll be right there once you give Droga a hand. Diamond Stroke, get, take a good look around the new room you're in. It looks like the trail of blood ends here, or originates, whatever. Something went down here in the past or is about to go down in the future. You know what? Never mind. 21 out of a thousand clocks destroyed, apparently. Hang on. There's a tooth on the floor. You know that tooth. You felt it, uh, its bite before Finn was here. Uh, judging by the forensics of the scene, the angle is uh, it hit the floor, the direction of the blood splatters, and how dry the blood is. Do you think you know exactly what he's about to pull? Or more specifically, what he's about to already have pulled. The past. Finn always knows where you're going. He follows your future trail here. He likes to mess with you from the past. Trouble is, he tips you off to where he's been. Uh, this time, you're ready. Wait for it. Wait. Wait. Now. The whack. The past. The past. A predestined bullet holes are convenient. Gives you something to aim for. 7 out of 21 clocks redestroyed. The past. Space slick and rematerialized. That doesn't make any sense. You never went anywhere. Die realizes there is a cost to settling the score with you in this way. The cost is having to live in a desert and miss the ruins of a dead civilization for the rest of his life. He thinks that's stupid, so he pulls your pins. Slash. Spray slick. Take voodoo doll. You grab his voodoo doll and stick his pin in there for good measure. Might as well keep track of everyone you've off this way, too. Not that you intend to abuse its power to settle your score. Uh, what's the point if you're not going to get your hands dirty? Still, it might come in handy down the road. A Lord English is supposedly indestructible. He's rumored to be killable only through a number of glitches and exploits in space-time. The doll may ultimately help you work uh, the system if it comes to that. Spades like destroy... Uh, the space lit clocks destroy them. 29 out of 1,000 clocks destroyed. Uh, 5 out of 15 green torsos dead. Diamond stroke. Follow tr blood trail downstairs and finish him off. Problem with that is he'll just see your future trail following him. And that will be nothing but a loud invitation for him to mess with you some more. Besides, better to leave him alive. You think you know where he'll lead you to, just uh, got to be a little more subtle about tracing his blood trail. Keep your future trail out of the, his line of sight. Spade Slick, return to being Hart's boxcar. The present. Spade Slick cannot return to being Hart's boxcar because obviously Diamond Drogue is too busy being Club Stoos. You watched, uh, you just watched Trace throw a punch into thin air for some reason. That guy's awfully silly. He then sul skulks off somewhere. You don't realize he's following Drogue's past trail through the mansion until he gets to the point where it intersects with your, uh, trail. At which point he'll start following you. But he, we all realized it because it's obvious and couldn't possibly be more clear. Club Stu's Implement Nefarious Scheme. You follow Drogue's simple instructions, so simple even a forgetful, a forgetful nincompoop like you can remember. There's a blood trail on the floor that goes in a different direction than Trace went. 
you decide to follow it because uh, that sounds like a really good idea to you. If there was something you were supposed to do after helping out Drog, you'll be damned if you remembered what it is. The future. Trace catches up to where you were, but you're gone already. All he sees is the long, gross, rubbery arm of your past trail stretching through the room. He finds his comrade tied up with the stretchy rubber arms of a small man, but there's nothing gross or unpalatable about that in the least. Dose unslows himself and begins mumbling something feverishly about his uh, hat. The past. The future. Kabumi. 7 out of 15 green torsos dead, 107 out of 1,000 clocks destroyed. The past. Finn makes his way through the mansion to get some help. Uh, he wonders where this little guy is going. Deuce's future trail is headed in the same direction he's headed. By sheer coincidence, Finn decides to follow him for a bit. Keep an eye on him for as long as Deuce's past uh, matches his. That is, uh, there's pretty much uh, no chance he's headed to the same place, though. That would be st st statistically improbable. He's got no idea what these uh, other goons are up to here. Funny, their future trails end here. He's not going to stick around long enough to find out why. He's a bit too woozy from the blood loss to sort out this mess anyways. No duty. Cliff suits, follow the red blood road. Uh, it's uncanny. This little guy is matching Finn's uh, route. Uh... Every step of the way, he must know something. Finn decides he's got to take him out. But he can't get a clear shot. Too dizzy and with all that C4 under Deuce's hat, firing would be a bad idea. My god, he's thought of everything. Clearly dealing with a criminal mastermind here. You stop to admire this gorgeous clock. It is so pretty. Too bad it's not ticking like the other, like so many of the clocks in this place. Not that you could blame them. There are so many clocks in this mansion. It would be impossible, obviously, be impractical to make sure they all work properly. Oh look, a trail of blood. You think you'll start following it? Arts boxcar wastes exactly four hours on this tomfoolery. You hate time travel, 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 you hate time travel. Above a specter has appeared at the strike of four and has been giggling at your foolishness for a number of minutes. Clover would uh, have been tickled to help you open this vault at the, the cost of answering a few of his clever time riddles. Needless to say, if only you thought to seek his help first rather than charging like the silly brute you are into this deadly trap of stable and not so stable time loops. Mostly unstable, really. These guys are way too dumb to maintain even elementary looping stability for more than a couple of iterations. If you weren't so preoccupied, Clover would tell you that you could use crowbars help to pry anything out of a time loop, stable or otherwise. If you weren't too so preoccupied and if he weren't so dead... Hee hee hee! Stitch mutters to himself in his shop. He guesses eggs and biscuits are roughhousing again because the fabric of space-time is tearing something fierce on Lord English's cario overcoat. This sort of thing is exactly why he keeps a backup coat and always leaves uh, a Stitch with one of them. Any gang does well to have an in-house doctor on hand, but if you deal in time travel, you better have a damn good tailor too. Hard's boxcars call Spade Slick for backup. You tell Slick to get his granny ass to the vault. It's, uh, God... It's goddamn Belladam... Bel... 
Bedlam uh, down here. You tell him you asked Deuce for backup, but surprise, surprise, he's nowhere to be found. Big surprise, you tell him, you tell him that, uh, that was sarcasm. He says he knows. Slick says he'll be right there. He'll see if he can round out a uh, drogue for support. Drogue says Deuce is tailing Finn while he is tailing Deuce. He'll be there to help out boxcars as soon as he and Deuce take care of business with Stitch. Couldn't be simpler. Oh yeah, he also mentions he pumped Finn full of lead so you could cross him off the list. You roger all that. In the past, Finn bursts into Stitch's workshop, blubbering something about watching out for the little guy who's about to come in here. He says to watch out because he's got a bomb on his head, which is undoubtedly quite volatile, and even the slightest spark would surely set it off. Stitch sees Finn's obviously in pretty bad shape and checks his effigy. Sure enough, the thing is in tatters, but he should be just fine if it can be patched up before he bleeds to death. And 8 out of 15 green torsos dead. Club Stews bust in thrusting bull penis cane. Everybody out of the goddamn way, you got a hat full of bomb, a fist full of penis, and a head full of empty. Stitch says drop the livestock knob and settle the hell down. He says you do realize C4 is a stable explosive and won't detonate with gunfire, right? You say oh. Diamond Stroke, uh, sneak into Stitch's bouquet. Drop it and get in. Don't bleed on the suits, a uh, Stitch uh, says, huh? Hold up. Shoot. Um, you admit you thought of carrying an imprison the you admit you thought of car carrying an imprisoned tailor wherever you go is gratifying for personal reason, but in this case keeping him alive should be useful in dealing with English later. Hearts, box cars, probe idiots with red cheeks. This uh predict predictably accomplished nothing. Taking your smut out of hiding turned out to be a very bad idea. Now copies uh, from the future are appearing left and right, and these clowns have their paws all over it. Slick, where the hell are ya? Space Slick, remove crowbar's pin. Crowbar's alive again, and a whole bunch of other stuff is different. You forgot this gang almost uh, seems halfway competent when he's running the show. The good news is you get ki you is you get to kill him again. Spade slick insert and quickly remove snowman's pin. You have no idea how much uh, you'd like to, but even you're not a, that crazy. Still kind of tempting. Okay, now we got a sound. Slick. 
something in your eye. Everyone always seem, uh, always ceases gunplay with snowmans around. If you kill her, you destroy the universe. Speed slick, remove knife from eye. You're, it's not a knife, it's snowman's cigarette holder. All you know is she's gonna have a hell of a time getting it back. Speed slick, give to, to Sawbuck. Uh, you check the lance at Sawbuck. But of course, it's only a flush wound. Seems like uh, that's the only sort of wound you could ever afflict on the corpulent Lubbox. Consequently, you and he both uh, jump to a random point in the timeline. This looks like, uh, looks to be in the recent past when Stitch and Crowbar were setting up the crates for the imminent gunfight, which was very thoughtful of them. Your goons should be showing up any minute now with the heavy firepower. For now, you'll you've got to drop you've got the drop on everyone. <clears throat> Speed slick, kill something out of rage and frustration. Stitch gets to the business end of your saber, saber rattle. He's dead in this timeline, at least. Speed slick, bring knives to the gunfight. Where do you think you're going, fatty? You'll deal with him in a minute. You whip out your double-edged sword and Okami's razor. Okam's razor. Space slick, Okam's razor, crowbar in crowbar's head make it happen crowbar deflects the king of spades into sawbuck's unmissable carriage you jump far into the past years in the past why it is to say the present for the time being a squirreliest straggler eyes impromptu desert skirmish he dismisses them as a bunch of ill-mannered rogues warranting no for their investigation Although he gives a small nod of approval to the plain and serviceable hat worn by one of the combatants, which strikes him as an absolutely smashing display of good fashion sense. Space Slick hit Crowbar in the head. You can't kill him yet, you need him alive to return to the original timeline. You will be taking this Crowbar, though. Space Slick, stuff him in your deck of cards. You cram him in the war chest. Sawbuck, you need to keep alive too for the moment not to return uh, to the right timeline but the right time speaking of which where's tubby think he's waddling off to speed slick just uh go stab all book until the time shenanigans stop you treat him uh, to a bit of the old bait and switchblade you appear in the future you guess this is after the gunfight is over the gunfight that never took place once since you killed Slash kidnapped everyone who was supposed to be involved. Looks like only Boxcars is here. Spade Slick, carry Sawbuck like Titan Al Al Atlas will carry the world. You order Hearts to drop his tub on the double before this fat lard puts you in a wheelchair. If you take Sawbuck with the, back to your own time and kill him there, that would save you the trouble of hunting him down. Might as well take Stitch too. Maybe you're not really sure if that's how it works. You don't really care, though. You dump them in the wrath tub, then stick the tub in your own deck of cards. But you give uh, Boxcars back his sword uh, literature, which he'd carelessly left in plain sight. No one will ever catch you reading your smut around. 
And even if you did, the copy of Terry or Fancy Magazine could belong to anybody. And no one could prove nothing. Spade's like stick crowbars pin back in again. You go back to your original timeline, but now stuffed in your chest, uh, you got a live crowbar from another timeline brought to this timeline where he's supposed to be dead. So you guess now he's alive in this timeline, which is par in part defined by his death. Okay, whatever. You should probably just kill him again anyway. Also, Sawbuck from another timeline is in there too. So you guess now there are two Sawbucks? This is getting kind of dumb. You open the chest, releasing them both. Crowbar doesn't look too pleased. You deflect his gunfire into this... You deflect his gunfire into this awesome gravitational pull of Sawbuck's uh, astonishing girth. Everybody into the past. You dodge his next round, too. It seems Sawbuck from this timeline, i.e. the real Sawbuck, was in this room at this point in time. He and Crowbar exchange bullets. Off they go. They, no doubt, go on to spend the rest of their ammunition peppering each other throughout the timeline, destroying all these clocks in the process. Between now and the present, you guess that explains the mess when you got here. Thank God you figured that out. You'd be, sh uh, you'd sh have surely lost sleep over it. 20 out of 107, uh, clocks redestroyed for the first time. Eventually, you know what? Never mind. Speed slick. Uh, take a moment to think up, uh, some time based one liners. Okay, you think you got one. Time travel sure can be a double edged sword. Wait, that was awful. Really, really bad. You're sure you could. Do you're sure you could do better than that? Well, uh, let's see. Sorry to no time's running. Let's see. Sorry to no time's running. No, wait, fuck. You may ask yourself from the past for a little help. Time something about time, time being up. No, wait. How about some kind of clock pun? No, damn it, will you just listen? You are almost on to something. Time, time is screw this. Too many crooks in the kitchen. Oh, and just what does this quivering mound a blubber think he is up to? Spades like staff first, other puns later. Just as you hear your past self asking what happened to your eye, you jab Sawbuck with your butterfly effect knife. You remember a little while ago asking yourself about your eye and not giving yourself an answer just before disappearing. Maybe if you stopped and thought about it for a second, you could have warned yourself and avoided the whole mess, albeit in the process of creating a paradox. But your strict policy of stabbing first and answering questions later prevented it. You're... You're sure your past self understands, uh, understands, understood. You are sure of this because you very clearly remember understanding slash understooding. You are now past spade slick again. You were just about to pull crowbar's pin. You guess all that stuff with your future self and cell buck originally happened in this room. While we were all off watching someone else like Diamond Strogue or something that makes sense. It's, uh, past spades, slick remote, uh, crowbar's pen. A whole bunch of shit happens that we already saw. Past spades, slick, be future spades, slick. Yeah, being your future self is a lot more constructive because you get to do stuff you haven't already done. Looks like you're in the future. It's a bloody mess in here. The clocks are more bullet ridden than ever, and it seems Crowbar and both Sawbucks have been decapitated. You're almost certain this is something you will be or were already responsible for, which of course means more time traveling. Looks like the tub and chests are gone, which means future you must have packed up uh, and left already. Got to take note of these sorts of things. You know where you are. You are in the timeline. You notice something on the wall over there. One of the clocks that wasn't destroyed before is now bloodied and full of holes. Not especially noteworthy. You just have a feeling you should register this fact. 108 out of a thousand clocks destroyed.
Speed Slick, quickly remove Lance for saw, from Sawbuck. You pry the cigarette holder from his torso. Whoops, uh, another time jump. This uh, tub of goo keeps going for his gun. I don't know why his body's got to settle his big ass down. You really should incapacitate him without inflicting another wound. Space Slick knocks saw, knock saw Buck unconscious. Count some sheep, bitch. Wait, the clock on the wall. It hasn't been destroyed yet, it, but it's about to be. It's ticking down to the time it's stuck on in the future. Maybe if you time it just right, you can end this whole mess in one fell slot ice. You've got, you even got an ice cold one liner to dish out when the time comes. You've been working pretty hard on it. Wait for it, wait for it. Hate to cut and wait. No, not yet. Wait for it. Hate to cut. Hate to no. Wait. Hate to cut and damn it. Not yet. Hate to cut and run. Shit. Hate to. Hate to. Hate to chop all your heads off with the sword. Really sorry about that. My bad. You slay all of them with your rape. Rapier uh, wit. Still waiting to explode, I think, but yeah, dead. Uh, 9 out of 15 green horses dead. Nine, uh, uh, 2 out of 9 green horses uh, dead and twice. 1 out of 15 green horses dead for the first time, but it's an alternate universe torso. So you could guess maybe it doesn't count. Seven out of a hundred and eight clocks uh, gratuitously redestroyed. Huge bitch, blah blah. You grab the tub and chest and move on. That is altogether enough of this nonsense. Diamond Strow calls spades. You check up on Slick's status. Slick says he's killed. Uh, he killed Crowbar again, Sawbuck twice, and Stitch once. You ask him if it was an alternative timeline stitch. He says he guesses so. You say that doesn't count. You've got the real one here. He mutters some foul language you can't quite make out, but you tell him never mind and hurry down to meet you at the vault. He says he took some damage from Snowman. You say, you know, you're having uh, some effigies made of yourselves uh, with your backup hats. Do you spot Slick's crumpled backup hat, uh, which he wound up with somehow? Not sure what happened to Deuces. Boxcars is obviously tied up at the moment, so you can't get your hands on his yet. Slick says he's got both their hats and he'll be down ASAP. You say, all right. He says, in the meantime, see what you can do about this eye. Diamond Stroke half stitch patch of uh, Spade Slick's effigy. Get to work, Thread Monkey. Space Slick have right eye patched up. Damn it, your sprite was flipped the wrong way. You get Droads on the radio and tell him to undo it and wait until you're turned around. He says it's the right eye, right? Were you facing left or right? You say it's only right when facing left. It's the left eye when facing right. He says, oh, so it's the left right eye? You say, yeah. But hang on a moment. You turn around so it's the right left. He says, okay. He'll wait. Ah, uh, that's better. Space like arm yourself in case can, can shows up. If can shows up, none of these weapons you got are going to do any good. You admire the lance for a moment. It's a pretty sweet weapon with outstanding craftsmanship. At least you got something out of the eye gouging. She'll have to pry this thing out from your rigid severed arm if she wants it back. Yee-haw! Space Slick ride uh, around on horse hitcher pretending to, to joust. Oh, shit. You can't believe she saw you horsing around like that. You'll never live this down. Diamond Strokes shoot up biscuits and eggs effigies. Stitch keeps their effigies in a big warehouse several miles away because of their ridiculous duplication tendencies. You're sure as hell not going to drive all the way over there, so you'll just shoot them in per uh, shoot at them in person. This was such an unbelievably terrible idea. Spade Slick Charge. This is incredibly deliriously, but it is nasty. 
Let's see if it loads. Okay, so it's not gonna load. The present. Spade Slick, start whacking things with the crowbar. First thing you whack is eggs, egg timer. You do this because, of course, you know the crowbars, crow, you know that crowbars, crowbar will destroy any temporal artifact and temporarily negate its effect on the timeline. Hawk. Hearts box car attempt to eat eggs. You attempt your attempt was an overwhelming success. Biscuits is looking at egg snug in his muffin tray. He thinks it's about time to poke a broom straw in this battle. His dough will live to rise another day. See you in the future, suckers. Space like crowbar, biscuits, oven, make it happen. You deal with the oven a wicked flogging, but not much happens. The oven doesn't really have any magical time properties to be negated. It just travels into the future at a rate of one second per second like every, uh, like everyone else. Spade, or, uh, Club Stews, uh, put dynamite in oven. You set the bomb to go off in a few seconds, uh, when both it and biscuits are released uh, from it in a few hours. Club Stews, turn up heat on biscuits oven. You're pretty sure this oven doesn't actually work at all. Uh, you just wheel it off somewhere else in the mansion so it can explode in peace. 12 out of 15 green torsos dead. Probably some more clocks destroyed too. Space Slick, use crowbar to pry the safe open. Since your expert safe cracker apparently spent the last five or six hours being totally useless down here, you figure it's time to take things into your own hands. Huh, what's this little fellow all worked up about? Clover insists that you reconsider using that to pry open the vault would be ever so much bad luck, like breaking a thousand mirrors all at once, the sort of mirrors that tr uh, trick and have numbers and tell time and stuff. That is the worst kind of mirror to break, luck-wise. Uh, Spade Slick politely asks Clover to remain calm. He refuses outright and does uh, starts doing a really frisky jigs. Do de do de do de do do de do de do de do do. He begins spinning a fanciful series of riddles, illuminating the true path to opening the vault. Mysterious music fills your ears as your mind assumes the shape of a pretzel. Do de do de do 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 de do de do 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 de do de do de do. Do de do de do do. This is how the music would sound if we were listening to it right now. Diamond Stroke, ask Clover for the ultimate riddle. You ask Clover to open the safe. What's this? He he, you think you could shoot Clover? He is so lucky the gun would probably jam or something predictably like that. Nice try though. You just start whacking him with a newspaper instead. You don't have to be all that unlucky to get whacked around with a newspaper. It's sort of a gray area. Diamond Stroke, uh, check personal ads of periodical. This isn't a real newspaper. It's just a wrapper for your private sword uh, literature, which no one could ever see. Oh. Uh, oh, it's slipping out a bit. Your appetite for monochrome beauties is nearly on public display. Gotta keep a lid on that smut, especially with Clover around. Sleep. 
suddenly the whole vault room is shaking. You wonder what it could be. It sounds suspiciously like Hans is about to plow through the wall, Kool-Aid man style. You pray to God it is not Hans about to plow through the wall, Kool-Aid man style. Oh yeah! All of a sudden, Can plows through the wall, Kool-Aid man style. Diamond Strogue resists urge to shout, oh yeah. Oh no! Okay, he punches you into next week. You find yourself going about your business a week later. Looks like um, you're doing a little grocery shopping. You're a bit confused, having no memory of the previous week. You have no idea what is on your grocery list. Are you out of milk? What kind of produce do you need to stock up on? It's a it's all a little overwhelming. Uh, and to make things worse, this section has too many prices and values. Hearts boxcar use eggs body to bait for as bait for cans. Torso flail. You flail the torso can's word in an attempt to placate him with red meat. Horse it doesn't work. Cans clocks boxcars entirely out of the current calendar year. You land in a totally different and outdated calendar. Looks like this one's theme was with themed with spirited horses. You'll be up to your ass in horses for a, a whole year. Just great. This is just what you need to be doing. Farming all this god these goddamn horses fucking pain in the ass. The space like ignore him and just pry the safe open. You don't care what the consequences are. You're going to crack open the safe and be done with it. This whole this whole intermission is uh, starting to get a little punchy anyway. <coughs> the massive uh, release of temporal distortion from the vault transports you to a highly unfavorable timeline. Looks like the entire mansion was leveled except for the vault and its enclosure. Everyone's dead except for you and you know who. But at least the safe's open. A thousand out of a thousand clocks destroyed. A fourteen out of fifteen green torsos dead. Three out of four black scoff laws offed. Spade slick into the vault. There's nothing in here except the opening in the floor. There is a door with a keyhole and you have a feeling you know how to open it. You only wonder why English's treasure would be locked behind a door with a spade on it. Uh, spade slick dramatically use this uh, dramatically use the uh, spade key. You guess this is what the spade key was for all this time. You dramatically wield the spade key in a matter of fact manner. A spade slick uh, peek inside keyhole. What keyhole? It was clearly a barcode scanner all along, like the kind they sweep groceries over at supermarkets. That reminds you, you should really do some shopping next week. You're not going to peek inside because uh, the lasers could blind you in no one eye. Oh, wait. Space Slick use rules card for blackjack. This was never a problem because there is clearly a barcode printed on your rules card uh, for blackjack. As well as your arm, but there's nothing wrong with a little redundancy, you guess. Huh? Space Slick, get on with it. Huh? Are you looking for this? We'll come and get it, you contemptuous Shay Witch. Snowman's black inches, no doubt, have been responsible for more than a few red cheeks. Spades like flip your uh, sprite. You gotta flip it turn ways. Wait. Space like scan the barcode. This guy again, it been a long time. Hey kid. Yeah, you. 
It begins to dawn on you that everything you're about to do may prove to be have been a colossal waste of time. Boggle vacantly at these shenanigans. And intermission. Act 4, next image. Land of Wind and Shade. We can't play the game anymore. John, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, Nana, where are you? I can I am still in the house, dear. I'm afraid I cannot accompany you on your journey, but I can talk to you like this. If you ever need me to provide a puzzling half answer to one of your questions. Okay, thanks, Nana. You should begin exploring and talking to locals. They will be able to provide you with some new insight into your quest and may illuminate some matters on which I have been er, have remained coy to this point. Ho ho ho! Yeah, what's up with that, Nana? Did the game make you all coy and prankstery when you became a sprite, or were you always like that when you were alive? Oh, wouldn't you like to know, dear? Ho 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 ho! Haha, <laughs> okay. I am told your name is John, is that correct? Yep, that's right. It's nice to meet you, John. John isn't directly cognizant of your greeting, but I'm sure he would feel likewise. Okay, John, let's explore this place. Okay, have at it. If you're at a loss, click the controller button up there. Black. You have uh, deactivated your ghost gauntlets for the time being. It gets uh, pretty distracting flailing them around all the time when you, all you're trying to do is explore. Glub, glub, glub. Glub, glub, sure is windy here. Often wind skims the voids of the pipes as if uh, grazing the hollow of a cut reed or say a plundered parcel of pixies. It is a lovely sound and brings back fond memories of my childhood, which uh, was a couple days ago. Wave hello. Look at this, another cherished idol profaned. Uh, such a sacrilege has become commonplace with uh, the recent glut of underlings. It uh, would bring a tear to my eye if I were not so clearly fit to be tied uh, with these hyperactive mannerisms and severe attention deficit on my- Oh god, look at a bug! Uh, the stars are moving. What do you mean? Uh, what are those things you call stars? Oh, you mean the fireflies. They become trapped under the clouds so when the slumbering one casts a spell on them. How did they cast a spell on them when he was asleep? Well, he wasn't always asleep, you goofball. When he was awake, he was asked by some really terrible guys to commission a whole bunch of underlings. He then went about befallowing our land with all this sludge, clogging up all our beautiful pipes. And now it can barely breathe. He was sort of of a huge dick. Once he tucked, tuckered himself out with all that, I guess he decided to take a nap? Uh, the terrible guys, they are a bunch of mean fellows who like to push people around. They are called agents. They aren't usually a problem, but they sure did put a spring in their step uh, when the here showed up. 
Whoever that is, if I ever meet him, I wouldn't mind punching him in the snout, too. Well, to accomplish some purpose, I suppose. I don't know. What were we talking about? Yes, the spell, the spell. I'm sure you heard uh, from a reliable source cannot be broken unless the slumbering one is first woken up and then slain. Then the breeze will uh, again flow through the pipes and the fireflies will be released and allowed to go home. But I do not envy the adventurers who will presumably take on this responsibility. The pipes are sacred to us for reasons you probably consider primitive and stupid. In fact, they probably are primitive and stupid, objectively speaking, but I'm okay with that. As uh, the consorts of this land, we are predictably persecuted by dark forces and require a hero for our salvation. Alas, there is no hero in sight. Wait a minute. It is you. You are the hero, aren't you? Uh, of course you are. I was so foolish to speculate otherwise, though. Uh, otherwise, through dubiously solicita solicited monologue. Duh. Farming these goddamn mushrooms, mushrooms fucking pain in the ass. I have renamed myself Crumple Hat. I have dishonored my ancestors beyond comprehension with this frivolous uh, accessory. Hey, nice suit, champ. I will buy it from you for one boon dollar. Sell suit for one boon dollar? Yes, no. No. I should have known. Only a shrewd businessman would wear such a garment. They have been uh, charging in ways I have never imagined possible. I am freaking out here. Do you know what this is? It is a huge log of cruxite. More than I have ever seen. It is the most precious material in existence. Why, if I could add access to a means of producing an unlimited supply, I would be the richest salamander in the land. Just kidding, it's completely worthless. Here, you want it? it it's free. I am a secret wizard. Behold my robes. Behold robes. Yes, no. You wonder what the hell a secret wizard is? This guy is making you a little nervous. You don't think you'll ask him for your bed sheets back? This thing right here, you'll, you have never seen a parcel pixies? Incomprehensible. Okay, I'll play your pretend game for a minute. It is a receptacle, receptacle, receptacle uh, connected to our network of pipes. We use them to send stuff uh, to different places. They are fully intertwined with our customs and social practices. If there is something we want, we chisel it on a mini tablet and drop it in. Who receives it? Hard to say, but if you encounter... A mini tablet and you possess what is chiseled on it it is uh, considered only polite to drop it in the pixies similarly if you encounter a parcel pixies that has a prize in it already you are obligated to keep the prize for yourself consider it to be a gift uh, to you from the breeze this is just the way things work uh, whenever one of us is standing near one of these, uh, we feel compelled to give this little speech about it. Wanna buy this? It fell from Skya, I guarantee it. Buy Harlequin figurine? Yes, no. Okay, that will be five million boon dollars. Oh, what? You don't have that How much? Haha, <laughs> of course not. No one does. It's impossible. Wanna buy this? It fell from sky? I guarantee it. Buy Harlequin figure? Yes, no. No, fine. I'll just be over here sitting pretty with this choice clown thing or whatever it is. 
and you will be there wallowing in pitiable de destitution. Glub, that's my way of saying go over there and check it out. Glub can basically mean anything I want it to mean. It's really cool having a bullshit language. Maybe you should try using your telescope here. Nano, are you there? I just saw my house from below. What gives? Why did the gate take me down here? All the gates do, John, to send each time you must first descend. Huh, all right. So I guess I'll scramble around down here until, uh, until what? Until you find the next gate. It is hidden somewhere in the land. Okay, so I get it, get to that gate and go in. Then what? Where does it take me? Uh, further up maybe? But I haven't been even built that high yet. So you see why you had to build in the first place, John? You must have a little faith in your dear old Nana. Yeah, well, I do Nana, but I'm still not really getting it. Does uh, the next day gate down here take me back up to the house or something? Please don't say ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Nana, there are more imps uh, than ever down here, and they seem to be getting stronger. Yes, dear, there are plenty of imps up here, too. I've had to start giving them cookies because I baked too many. I hope you don't mind. No, that's okay. Also, they look different. That is because a new prototyping has taken place. Huh? Your pretty young friend has joined you in the medium. Wait, uh, whoa, wait, Rose is here? Where is she? Will I find her down in here somewhere? Oh, settle down, all of you. There are more than enough cookies to go around. Nana, damn it! Will you stop messing around with those stupid imps for a second, Nana? Sigh. Peer into large opening. You think you can make out a very faint noise below? Is it snoring? Not long ago, all these underlings started creeping out of the pipework, and they have been a nuisance to say the least. But just a few moments ago, they began spilling from the land in greater supply, wearing more flamboyantly preposterous outfits than ever. Why, you ask, on account of a series of mysterious and arcane witchcrafty magic spells? Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding, I have no idea. John, this will lead you to new frontiers in this land. Are you sure you are done with this place and ready to move on? There are, have uh, there may have been some things you missed. Exit, yes, no. In a future, settled as as kins of the present, collateral de desecration mars the sacred uh, slash illicit. In the mystic ruins of an era pre-desecration, an ancient time capsule has blossomed. You find a nested in its petals a juice-stained spur beta once belonging to one of your friends. What will you do? Jay, take the discs. Uh, you capture log the spur beta and uneventfully tucks itself into your silidex. You think you are getting kind of bored with this fetch mode as you like to mix it up now and then. Maybe you'll peruse uh, your selection and try out another. Jade, switch to Jenga modus. You swap your modus to Jenga, ejecting your Silidex in the process. Looks like the time capsule has reset itself. It is sprouting a new bud. Presumably something else will come out uh, when it blooms again in for about 400 years. Too bad you won't be around to find out what it is. Your modus grabs uh, the 18 cards needed to set itself up. It divides each card into three capture log blocks. 
You begin picking up your items. The item is capture log chopped into three blocks and distributed randomly into the block tower. You gather up the rest of your items. Might as well try it out. You go for all the blocks containing your tangle buddies. Careful, careful. Jade, uh, Jade switched to Pictionary modus. Yeah, that one's obviously not going to work. You switch to Pictionary, a choice based on a strong whim from the mysterious ethers of democracy. Jade, try out new Pictionary modus. Okay, you start by trying to grab your lunch top after you ditch an unwelcome uh, solicitor first. That is, you've got to concentrate here. J draw lunch top. You draw a really nice looking squiddle lunch box on the capture log scribble pad. The modus recognizes what you are trying to draw and snaps it right up for right up. Nice going. Jade uh, capture log the beta. Look at these fabulous uh, beta envelopes you just drew. Your Silidex thinks they're fabulous fabulous too. Yeah. Jade quickly ran, uh, Jay quick random scribbling. You do a very quick doodle of nothing in particular. The scrabble pad appears to be processing the shapes. Is that Charles Dutton? Since you do not actually have a Dutton photo laying around, the pad capture locks a Dutton photo ghost image. It is not a tangible item and can never be used ever. It seems to be more of an imprint on the card itself, like a watermark. However, the back of the card does seem to contain a viable CAPTCHA code for a real Dutton photo for whatever it's worth, which is very little. Uh, Jay, draw a pumpkin. You sketch a beautiful succulent pumpkin, knowing perfectly well that a pumpkin ghost image will be capture logged because you are quite sure there is not a pumpkin in this room and there surely never will be. You capture log a pumpkin ghost image. At least you have the capture code uh, for it on the back in case you ever want to replicate a real one. Oh no. Jake, get the rest of your items. Uh, you start by drawing your Tangle Buddies, but it looks like it's having trouble understanding the shapes. Darn, you wanted those. Jake, capture log base on card uh, with Dutton Ghost Image. It's not up to you to say what card uh, it goes on. The modus decides. All you get to do is draw. Anyway, you try sketching your electric base. It's kind of hard to draw accurately. Uh, no, that's just a ghost image of a uh, of an ordinary base. That's not right. You try again, focusing on getting all the mechanical details just right. Ugh! Oh no, busted. The jig is up. You are returned to your bedroom without the rest of your loot. You doubt you'll have time to go back and get it. You guess you have inadvertently left your own time capsule there for whatever party may find it in the future. Lucky bastards. You get started installing both, both discs. Might as well get a jump on it to avoid the sort of future drama that results from poor time management decisions. Uber Eats, leave me alone. Uber Eats wants to feed me, but I'm not hangry, per se. Jade, pester chums. In the meantime, you decide to touch base with your pals. Oh, no, not those pals. The trolls um, can just sit tight for now. John Pester Rose. Ectobiologist E.B. began pestering technical therapist T.T. Rose, are you there? I went through the gate. Nana said you might be here, too. Are you in uh, kind of the spooky, glowy place with oily rivers and stuff? Let me let me know, okay? Garden Gnostics G.G. began pestering ectobiologist E.B. John, hi. Hi, Jay. Guess where I am. Are you on the ground below the clouds yet? Yeah, wait. How did you know that's where the gate goes? Did you talk to Rose? Can she still see me while I'm down here? She won't answer. No, I haven't talked to her yet, but I'd like to soon. I've got a lot of catching up to do with all of you. 
Sorry, I've been so scarce. I've just been so busy running around like crazy and looking after my dog and stuff all day. I think he just locked me in my room, actually. Oh, man, he sounds like a, such a handful. Yeah, but it's okay. I think he is mostly just looking out, uh, looking after you like a guardian angel or something. If I were you, I would take him out behind the woodshed and give him a big hug. Smiley face. Hey, John, can't and you hold on i have to talk to dave and start playing this game with him oh what game spurb duh what else what i thought you didn't even know what spurb was oh geez i was asleep when i said that silly of course i know what it is oh okay where did you even get it from the ruins it's dave's copy wow the the thing you just said doesn't even make the slightest bit of sense i know right he <laughs> he Oh, that reminds me, since I'm setting the game up with Dave to be his server, you are going to need to be, you're going to need to do the same thing for me. Oh, really? This is news to me. Can you see from where you're standing the place your dad's car would have fallen? Oh, yeah, I think so. It's, uh, it will be kind of a long walk, though. This place is huge. You should go there and get your copy of the server and get up with, um, and set up with me. Oh, and also get your package. Okay, wait. How did you know my dad's car fell down here? John, will you stop trying to trap me? You told me the car fell. Remember, jeez. 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 Okay, fine. Well, color me suspicious anyways. Miss, uh, know-it-all, uh, psychic pants. John, I'm not any more psychic than you are, though. Okay, sure, I'm convinced. You have me convinced, uh, psychic, psychic, psychic. Also, I told you the package was in the car, but I never mentioned that the game was there, too. So kind of totally busted, I guess. Give me a P. Give me an S. Haha, uh, oops, okay. I mean, I know lots of things but i'm really serious it's no more information than uh, what you have access to but you don't know it yet anyway we can talk more about it soon i won't have to be so coy with you anymore because i'm pretty sure most of the stuff that was supposed to happen has already happened i couldn't tell you about it because it would have messed it up Okay, that's her. Just give me a few minutes while I set up this game and say hi to the salamanders for me, heart. Oh, shit. Dave Pester Rose. Turn Tech Godhead began pestering technical tentacle therapist TT. Hey, uh, will you open your laptop already? Say this is why you need a phone or something that alerts you to important messages instead of leaving them trapped under three inches of fucking yarn. Laptops don't need cozies. Nothing needs cozies. Cozy is a goddamn adjective. Maybe I'll crochet myself an iPhone snugly. What is this place anyway? What are you doing? I can see your whole damn house here. If you want to get filled in on it or something, I'm sort of the guy with the big picture here. Don't make me bop you on the head with a wizard. I'll do it. Okay, no, I won't yet. I guess I'll bone up on the FAQ for a while so I don't do anything stupid and deploy like 10 crux like phalangers and fuck up the whole game. Oh my god, so many words. Do you think, like, the Pulitzer community is secretly scourging the dregs of the game FAQ archives or something? Damn, I can't read this shit. I'm sorry. Garden Gnostics GGBN pestering turn tech godhead TG. Yo, yo. Whoa. Okay, hey. So, you're finally playing the game with Rose. Yeah, but she won't answer me. She's probably just exploring. I'm sure she will come around soon. But it's great that you got her out of there in time. Pretty much you have no idea how much I fucking own at this game. I bested no less than three flaming tornadoes and broke a huge wizard. So how does it feel to be a big time hero? Mr. Bravey Brave McHero Pants? It feels like I'm in sports all alone and I'm the star. It's me. And then the big man comes. <laughs> 
but it turns out to be crazy uh, what kind of basketball this man plays. Uh, the hoop is on fire. Okay, I forget how it goes. No, you got it. Oh, we're good. Reference secured. Yes. So now it is my turn to be the star. I will be your hero. It's me. Wait, what? I installed the game. I'm connecting to you as the server player. Oh, man, this is ridiculous. I just set this shit up with Rose, and now I gotta do, like, some double duty thing. I mean, I own at this game and all, but can't I just relax for half a second? Don't worry, you could keep playing with Rose while I set up a few things. I figured I'd get a good head start to avoid all the drama you guys are always getting into. Such a bunch of drama queens. What? Look, I was getting my ass handed to me by my bro on the roof for like an hour and a half. I got served like a dude on Butler Island. Drama, drama, drama. Wait, does this mean there's a big meteor coming soon? Yes. When you activate the thing, will it start the countdown and summon the meteor? It will come when it comes, regardless of what we do. The timer really just lets you know when it's coming. Are you totally sure about it, all this? Yeah, look, here it is. Dave's meteor! Holy fucking shit! Okay, yes, that image is definitely conclusive proof of something that is 100% understandable by anyone who looks at it. How big is this thing? It is really, really big, like the state of Rhode Island or Texas or what. I need some context to know how much crap I should be shitting in my pants. Okay, I don't actually know, sad face. Well, as if, uh, like one the size of a bus wouldn't kill me anyway. <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on, Rose is finally opening her stupid laptop, so do your thing, I guess, have fun. Thanks, I will, heart. Alright, I'm gonna end my stream here, guys. I hope you have a nice evening. Bye-bye.